Hello and welcome to my review of the goodies, the complete BBC collection. Today we're on to episode 3, Give Police a Chance. In this episode, the boys are asked to improve the public image of the police force and after experiencing some police brutality and corruption for themselves, they introduce the radical idea that police could be nice to people, which ends up getting them arrested. This is another satirical episode very much taking aim at the police and their bad reputation at the time, and uh, which still seems kind of relevant, for um, brutality and corruption. This is a, a weirdly serious and um, pretty uncomfortable topic for a comedy show to take on. But The Goodies handles it with a surprisingly light comedic touch. I guess it's through the approach they take, which is a kind of hippie ideal of um, peace and love, which is how they transform it in the show. And as this goes along, um, especially in the middle section with Bill's beautiful music, they kind of reach this um, this really delightful peak of... Um, of, of loveliness and, and fun and a, a really beautiful, warm feeling. It is a, an odd episode and I guess it was always going to be a difficult subject, but I'm, I'm really amazed that they could take something so dark and, and kind of mould out of it something that's very beautiful somehow. A couple of interesting firsts in this episode. This is the very first time we see Graham doing his trademark um, animal puppet bit. I don't know what to call that. I'm just going to call it the animal puppet mime bit. Um, he does it so well and I love every single time um, I see him do it, but we see it first here. The guest stars in this episode are Paul Whitson Jones as the co police commissioner. And he might be familiar to you from his guest starring roles in The Avengers and Doctor Who and Department S. Um, also in this episode, briefly, is Katya Wyeth, who may be familiar to you from Hammer Films. Uh, once again, the ad parodies in this episode, as they were in the previous episode, Snooze, are actually about um, the same subject that the story is about. So they're ads for the police. They're the ads that the goodies make to try and change the police public image. So once again, the ads form part of the story. This episode's highlights for me. Um, one of them was definitely seeing Bill dressed up as a skinhead. I thought that bit was great when he's trying to show um, how badly police treat people, showing depending on how they look. Um, but really, the highlight of this whole show for me was the middle segment where the boys um, become temporarily police and try to show what it would be like if the police were nice and kind to people. Um, for instance, you know, reading to homeless people in the park and giving them blankets and just being nice. Um, there's something so beautiful about this segment and it, it really does seem to embody... I guess what would have been the, you know, hippie feeling of the time. Um, and it does have a real flower power loveliness to it. Um, and so much a part of the success of this middle section is from Bill's song, What Do I Have to Do to Make You Love Me? Which is so beautiful. I still feel slightly mystified having just watched it. How they could take such a, a serious topic as police brutality and and kind of emerge from it with this beautiful middle section. And I think it's because it is is trying to just say, you know, how much nicer would the world be if people were kind and loving towards each other? Um, and it is a sort of, it's a serious message, but it's presented in a very light and beautiful way. My other highlight of the episode was um, that Graham looks very handsome in his police uniform. And I will admit, I've always had a soft spot for Graham. My overall impressions of this episode were it's a kind of weird and chaotic episode um, and it does take something very heavy and does transform it in the end and part of that is also in the um, the sing-along at the end um, where they take the Beatles song Give Peace a Chance and do a, the parody version Give Police a Chance. Um, it's, it's a really odd episode but it does have a kind of a weird magic to it. If you have any memories or thoughts about Give Police a Chance, I'd love to hear them. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I hope you'll join me next time when we review uh, the episode that I've never seen before, Playgirl Club. 
So I'm really, really curious to see that one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.